Uh, you know, it's pretty interesting how some people talk about how this next start next year, they're going to start getting healthy as in losing weight, getting strong to the gym, you know, doing the most important stuff to stay um, pretty fit. But in Phil's case, he seems to be getting fatter each and every year. As a matter of fact, a little birdie told me that he was talking about how he lost some weight, even though I highly doubt that. So let's check out to see how much weight that he exactly said he lost. And here we go with my boy Snort Hogan. Let's see what he's got for us today. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, 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 Cody. Snort. That song's never gonna get old. I love it. Snort. I got the drip. I've lost a lot of weight since 2021. Bullshit, bullshit. I don't know about since 2021. You know, I would say. I don't know. You look like you haven't lost too much weight there, Phil. Look like the same. I mean, unless you have, I don't know, secretly been working out behind the scenes, which I highly doubt you still look the same as the fat pig that you are. Here's the thing. I've gone like this in my life, right? I have. I've gone like this in my life. And You'd gone more downwards than up, Phil, so I'll agree with you a little bit on that. And when I started on YouTube in 2008, 2009 was one of my heaviest times of my life, okay? Like, I was really, really heavy at that time. Probably like 230, 240 pounds. I mean, we're just watching. I don't know about 240, 250, uh, 30 pounds, whatever, Phil. You might have been maybe, what, 220, to be honest, maybe 210. You didn't look that heavy, and you still like the same fat dude as it is today. Watching a video yesterday of me doing viewer mail, and my head was like bloated like this. I'm the little guy. You are a big guy, Keen. You're huge. You With I had like a triple chin and shit. You know, it was ridiculous. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me. Phil, take something for that, please. It's getting really disgusting. So then, um, I did try to change my lifestyle up a little bit and eat way less when I became a full-time YouTuber. And I eat way less when you become a full-time YouTuber. Um, Phil, not really. You actually order DoorDash very often and a lot. And for you to lose weight, you actually got to find out your maintenance um, caloric intake. And you have to subtract somewhere between 200 calories to 500 calories from your maintenance caloric intake in order for you to start losing weight. And that takes time. It's not something you can do overnight. And I lost some weight. And then I gained it and lost it and gained it and lost it. And I can tell you it's uh, sorry for stopping so much, but Phil, the main reason why you keep losing weight and gaining weight is majority of times the first a bit of weight you're losing is water weight. So it comes and goes, comes and goes, comes and goes, Phil. And again, in order for you to lose weight, you have to stick with it. 2017 was a year that was very tumultuous for me. Um, you know, I, w I was single for the first time in a very long time. And because of that. I was eating incredibly unhealthy. I was rushing out getting fast food every day just to eat fast between streams so I could get back to stream and, and basically get back to work. Dude, did you look at the fucking mirror, you stupid Muppet? <clears throat> You're still doing that to this day, Phil, with DoorDash, probably also Grubhub, you know, sushi, Chinese food, all that stuff. So not much has changed since 2017, Phil. I wasn't really cooking. Even when I was cooking, I was having, like, shitty TV dinners and stuff like that. So in Phil, you make me angry, Phil. You cooking. You cooking. Phil. <laughs> you weren't cooking. Uh, heating up TV dinners is not cooking. It's just heating up a simple, easy food. That's not cooking, Phil. Cooking as if you're taking the ingredients, such as, let's say you want to make, um... Mashed potatoes, you take on the potato, you're supposed to peel it, you're supposed to boil it, then you're supposed to mash it up, add milk, butter, seasoning, stuff that, add some garlic, maybe some cheese from scratch. That will be cooking, Phil. And I use it for example. And I'm surprised you don't even know how to make that. That's like one of the most simplest things. Matter of fact, if you want to make it really simple, make it really easy for you, Phil, is it that difficult for you to make like grilled cheese, for example? It shouldn't be that difficult to make that. You get two slices of bread. Whatever cheese you want to use, whatever it's American, cheddar, whatever, you know, put it to get, heat the pan up, put some butter on there, cook on there. It takes no one, what, five, ten minutes once you flip it, get a nice crusty, you know, crust on the toast, on both sides of the bread, excuse me, cheese melted, and there you go. So I don't know how you don't know how to cook, Phil. Not only that, you're, you said you're Italian. 
So how is it that you haven't picked up any type of um, cooking knowledge from your parents? Like, what's up with that, Phil? Most of the times that I know cook for themselves. They don't order out like that. It's a very rare occasion they even do that. 2017, I gained a lot of weight back. Like, I would say in 2017, I probably got upwards of 220, 230 again. I gained a lot of weight again. And it was very unhealthy. I didn't feel good. Like, there were some days where legit, I felt really sick. And I was like, I can't keep doing this. And then I can tell you, ever since I met my wife, and, you know, we started living together, and she started cooking, and we started eating way more healthy now, and we don't... Phil, again, when you met your wife, you're still the same the healthiest person. And before you met your wife, was you dating Panda Lee? I thought that would help you with your weight situation. What was up with that? You know? The way I see it, Phil, you just seem to, no matter what, um, contradict your stories, no matter what. Don't eat fast food, or when we do, it's a rarity. Instead, we're cooking every single day. And even when I eat out now, uh, you know, when we do, I'm usually trying to get stuff that's more on the healthier side. You know? We, get, we eat poke bowls, you know? Which is a bunch of freaking, it's basically deconstructed, like, sushi and stuff like that. That's what we're eating when we eat out. You know, we're not eating. Um... Phil, 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 when it comes to sushi, it has white rice, a sushi roll, and some type of raw meat, usually like a fish or something. Um, I actually did you a little favor. I looked it up. Since you said you have gout, you shouldn't be eating all that stuff anyways because that's what's going to trigger your gout, Phil. So you're still not eating healthy. To you, for order for you to eat healthy, you need a lot of leafy greens. You need to eat basically chicken, not too much fatty fish. You got to definitely stay away from the red meats and stuff. But here's something else, Phil, that you do a little too often, and I bet you don't tell people. When you eat pasta and that bread and stuff, a lot of times it's white bread, I bet you, and, unble and bleached pasta, which is not good for your gout, Phil. That triggers it. So you're still not eating healthy no matter what you're saying, Phil. And grease and cheese and fried shit which is great obviously so basically i i've i have fluctuated but i would say the last three four years since cat is now you know cooking all the time cooking way healthier meals and we're not really eating out oh my god <laughs> food stuff anymore and i'm not uh no the past few times especially when she cooked you know what that baked beans and stuff that wasn't healthy when you ate those turkey dogs that wasn't healthy phil there's a couple other meals that she cooked for you that wasn't all that healthy so no you're still eating unhealthy and it's really showing on your face phil doing fast food i've lost a lot of weight you know i like i said on average i teeter between like as high as maybe like like 205 208 pounds but i've been all the way down to like 195 it all depends you know how i'm eating and what's going on and stuff like that i'm gonna call massive bullshit on that you're not one down to 190 you're probably at 210 the only way you can get down to 190 is if you're working out and you have lily has said you have not been working out whatsoever if you have i'll just have to see some of them videos of you working out whether you're in the gym lifting some weights stuff like that that's the way i believe that because right now phil you're telling me some grade eight horse shit so i just kind of i got that little fluctuation there that kind of jumps between the 200 pound mark um but yeah, no, I have lost a lot of weight in the last few years because of my changes of lifestyle, which is great, you know. The lighter you are, the less health problems you have. You know, I used to have problems with my knees. <clears throat> I used to have problems with my joints and other things, um, you know, and now I don't, which is great. Also, Phil, you ever thought about taking a multivitamin? That would definitely help you out with your health situation so you get some, you know, vitamins in your system, minerals, stuff like that, because that's another thing you're lacking. And also, here's another way to get really healthy, Phil. Drink only water. Drink only water, Phil. That will get you really healthy because water will help to cleanse out a lot in your body. But we all know you like drinking that seltzer water, and that's not all that good for you. You need to drink regular water. Filtered water, okay? Filtered water, okay? That's what you need, Phil. That's going to really help to cleanse your body because your body's full of a whole bunch of toxins anyways.
And that I can tell. I, I wake up in the morning and I feel energetic and refreshed and ready for the day as opposed to <laughs> what? What? Energetic? Phil, well, the first thing you do in the morning is you be complaining how hot it is. How hot it is. So, no, you don't feel energetic. And depending how hung, how hung over you are, you pretty much are pretty pissy, okay? So, you're not full energy. You're not energetic. Majority of times, you kind of hate getting up early anyways. Please. Keep that same energy, please, Phil. Just keep that same energy. So I used to wake up and feel like a slug. I'd wake up and be like, oh, God, I have, like, no energy. And I, like, I'd get out of bed and try to get moving and shit. And now I'm, I feel, like, motivated and energized to do stuff all day, which is nice. So there you go. No, I mean it. Witcher, Witcher just said something. He says, wings must feel that way all day. You have to understand, as someone who used to be heavier, no. Uh, Phil, are you getting ready to take a shot at wings? Are you really about to take a shot at wings? You know what? I want to hear it. I hear what you're about to. I want to hear what you're about to say, Phil. Oh shit! And no exaggeration. When you're heavy, you feel awful. I mean it. Like you can't. You don't want to get out of bed because the moment you get out of bed, your legs hurt. You got, you know, pain and strain in all your joints, all your muscles. You struggle to breathe sometimes. It's like, what the fuck? Why am I struggling to breathe? You know, all of a sudden, you start. Um, Phil. If you're struggling to breathe, breathe, excuse me, that's not just really a weight issue. That is a respiratory issue. That means you got something going on with your lungs, Phil. Uh, even a doctor would know that. So what you just said there makes no sense. Okay, because I've seen plenty of heavy people who really don't complain of breathing problems. They complain of back problems. They complain of leg problems, which is consistent. But I don't remember them ever talking about, oh, I have a hard time breathing, because if that's the case, if they have a very hard time breathing, they're on their way to the emergency room, Phil. So, nice try. Start moving, and you're all, you get a high blood pressure. Your heart's going, ba-doom, ba-doom, ba-doom. You're just doing normal shit. Why is my heart going like that? You're like, what is going on? Then you try to calm down, and sometimes you can't calm your body down, because your body had to work so hard just to move around, you know, and you're trying to. That's one of two things, Phil. It's not weight. It's either they have an anxiety or a uh, panic attack. Those are the two things that will cause something like that, Phil. Have you ever had one of those? You know, have you have you had one of those? I like to know because if you did, then you know it's more one of those two, and not for someone being overweight. Like lay down and relax. You can't relax. Because your body won't relax. It's all fucking over, over, over adrenaline and your fucking heart. Ba -doom, ba -doom. It's not supposed to be like that. You know? You're not supposed to overexert just from walking around. You know, I told you guys the story when I used to have my office job. There, were, there was a, a couple days. I would just be getting out of my car. All right? Now, this is when I was at my heaviest. Probably like 240, right? I'm just getting out of my car. I open the door. I put my left leg down on the pavement. And as I put weight on my left leg and I start to stand up... All of a sudden, ripping, shooting pain up into my knee, and I sit down. Oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Stop whining like a bitch. Jesus. <sighs> oh, God, Phil. Phil. Philip. I've been 230, okay? You don't have shooting pain like that. Not unless you're having sciatica, which is pretty much a pinched nerve, or one of your joints is going. You don't have sheer shooting pain where you can't move, Phil, especially at 230 or 240. So you are just, you are such a liar and very pathetic that you'll do anything to have, try to find sympathy so people can send you money. People also feel bad for you, because I don't feel bad for you, not one bit. The only person I feel bad for is Kat, because... She's married to really a loser. You're a loser, Phil. <laughs> you come up with the most pathetic excuses and the most pathetic stories. No matter what. It's... Uh, it, it, let's continue. What the fuck did happen? And now I gotta work. I'm at work. I gotta work all day. I can't even walk. I'm limping into work, tears streaming down my face. Because I just fucking threw out my knee because I'm a fat ass. You know, what kind of a way to live is that? That's awful. I wouldn't wish that on anyone, man. 
to people who live like that, that's fucking terrible, dude. You know, and I was like, that was my worst part of my life. Where I, I felt awful, I looked awful, I, I couldn't, like, it was barely living, you know? Phil, you look awful even to today. You haven't much changed. Matter of fact, when you was much younger, when you had a goatee, you pretty much look like a sharp brother. Now, you're like a, um, a hermit. Look at your beard, man. Look at all that patchiness. Get that fix. Get your hair fixed. Do something about them sag bags on your faces, Phil. You look much older than you are supposed to be at 42 or 41, whatever. You're in your 40s, but you look like you're 50 going into your 60s. I never would want to go back to that. Never, ever, ever would I want to fucking go back to that. So. <clears throat> no, it's a combination of many factors. Sis Alchemist says, just stop eating unhealthy food. It Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Phil. Listen to one of your people, listen to your audience. They're telling you the truth. Stop being unhealthy because you are eating unhealthy. You're not eating leafy greens, you, leafy greens. You're not eating um, wholesome foods. You're eating a lot of processed crap. Cut the processed crap out. Go to whatever local uh, grocery store you're at. Not local, well, definitely go one of your grocery stores. Hell, go to Walmart. Pick up some healthy foods, healthy alternatives. Stop with the TV dinners. Stop with the easy makes. Start making food from scratch. It's not difficult to do, Phil. Look up on YouTube. There are plenty of cooking channels that can teach you quite a few things, especially in 2023, Phil. As a matter of fact, you really need to do that. Just do that because, again, allegedly, I'm certainly sure Cat is no longer there. So you're going to have to really start cooking for yourself now. It's not that simple. It's lifestyle choices. Like, for example, it's eating right and eating at the right times and not snacking. That's another thing that people don't understand. Like, snacking is terrible for you. If you're going to snack, you have to be snacking healthy. You can't be snacking on terrible shit all day. That's exactly... Phil, even snacking healthy foods can turn into a bad thing. If you snack on something healthy too much of it, it could become unhealthy for you, Phil. Likewise, if you snack unhealthy, you become, uh, become like, likely if you snack unhealthy, it's unhealthy no matter what. Same thing. You eat healthy, but you consume too much of it. It can become unhealthy, Phil. Exactly the wrong thing to do. And when I say snacking, I don't just mean, oh, I grabbed a handful of fucking Doritos or Pringles. I mean drinking like coffee with sugar and cream, soda. With tons of sugar. All that shit is considered snacking. And a lot of people don't want to talk. Just like you snacking on alcohol, snacking on gin, mix whatever, Phil. Allegedly in that cup of yours doing your night streams. Talk about it like that. It is. There's too many people in America in particular. I don't know about the rest of the world. But here in the United States, we have like a 100% snacking culture. Where all you do all day is you, you constantly drink, eat, drink, eat. Especially the worst part is, I'm bored. I need a snack. No, you don't. You uh, Phil, Phil, Phil. People don't eat because they're bored. They'll eat because either they're stressed out or something else. They don't eat when they're bored, Phil. Maybe you do that. Ugh. You don't need a snack because you're bored. You need something to do with your time that occupies you so you're not thinking about shoving something down your throat constantly. Well, look who's talking. You don't do anything except for play games 16 hours a day. Take your own advice, Phil. I don't keep stuff in the house that tempts me because I don't keep. That's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. You keep gin in the house. You keep alcohol in the house, okay? You got all those bottles of hard liquors from your events a few months ago. You still got that in your house, Phil, so that's a big fat lie. Stuff in the house that I'm going to snack on, I don't snack. I have no soda in my house whatsoever right now. None. Zero. Not a single can of soda exists in this household. Uh, what about that seltzer water? That's still considered soda. Even though it's sugar-free soda, it's still considered soda, Phil. So that's another lie. There's no reason for it to, right? Why would I have soda here, you know? The snacks that I have are healthier snacks. If I have a snacks, it's not a greasy potato chip. It's like popcorners, which is popcorn formed into a chip. Sure, it's not good for you, but it's certainly not as awful as a fried piece of food, right? That's the kind of stuff I do. 
you know? Again, our meals that we have at dinner, baked chicken, right? With a breading that we bake in the oven. Not fried chicken. Not greasy cheese chicken. Baked chicken. That's what we're eating. A soup that's a bunch of chicken sausage with chunks of tomato and beans and things like that. That's what you have in the house. And Phil, 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 Phil. I know for a fact when it comes to beans, you use canned beans, all, all that crap. That's number one. And when it comes to baked chicken, that depends. Are you using chicken breast or chicken thighs? If you're using chicken breast, that will be a lot more healthier. If you're using chicken thighs, you need to make sure it's skinless and boneless, Phil. So depending on that, either way. So, again, what kind of chicken are you using? What kind of bread are you using? Are you using wheat bread? That would be a lot more healthier. Or are you using um, wheat or white bread, which is unhealthy for you, Phil? Which is it? Because you need to break that down a bit more better than what you did here. When you have that stuff, if that's all you have, all right, then that's what you eat. Too many people, I had to say it, in the United States are enablers. Spruce it up. Take a look at yourself in the mirror and realize you're no fucking amazing paragon of existence on this planet either. You also have flaws. Maybe you should work on yourself and stop worrying about everyone else. Right? Why are so many people in the United States overweight? Because everyone enables everyone else to just do it. If you didn't have that awful stuff around you, you wouldn't need it. Because when you're hungry, you're going to fucking eat. If you're starving and the only thing in your house is broccoli, you're going to eat the fucking broccoli. Uh, yeah. Of course, Phil, and you shouldn't even be talking because you enable a lot of things. One with your bag and all that crap. But that's the problem. People just put the bad shit in the house and then they eat it. Of course, don't put the bad shit in the house then. But they do. They load the house with the most low calorie value, high fat, high cholesterol, high sugar, all bullshit stuff with no vitamins, no minerals, all empty calorie bullshit. And then they sit there stuffing it down their gullet, drinking soda and coffee and juices with full of sugar and shit. Phil, you do the exact same thing off camera when you door dash and stuff. We all order all order out so much. All that stuff you order from wherever stores, I mean stores, restaurants, they're full of processed stuff, fillers, a lot of sugar, a lot of salt, a lot of fat to make it taste good. So you have no room to talk. You do the exact same thing, Phil. And now that when cat cooks for you, when cat, excuse me, cooks for you, she's still using the most easiest processed stuff. Still, so no, you're not eating healthy, Phil, and I hate repeating myself about that. It's just awful. Yoo-hoo and fucking, yeah, Yoo-hoo. Why the fuck does Yoo-hoo exist? It's chocolate milk with no nutrition. It's Yahoo, Phil, not Yoo-hoo. Yahoo, say it correctly. Nutritional value. You might as well just eat fucking spoonfuls of sugar out of the container whole. Why would you ever drink that shit? You know? It's... Again, I can ask you why you're still drinking drinking gin all day long, Phil, but that's considered sugar. It's disgusting. And that's what I mean. That's, this is culture. This is an entire culture in the United States. This is how we live. Every moment of my life, if I'm bored, I just I drink or eat, drink or eat. That's how you get sick, really, you know? Think of, just think about how I used to gorge myself. I would wake up in the morning, and the first thing I would do is eat something greasy. I would toss one. Ladies and gentlemen, he still does eat greasy food, so look, just ignore him when he says that stuff. One of those microwave greasy sandwiches, greasy sausage or bacon into the microwave, and I would wolf it down. Then, at lunch, all day, first of all, I'd have coffee or tea with milk and cream and sugar in it all day long, two or three before breakfast and lunch. At lunch, I'd have a ginormous sandwich with loaded with cheese and condiments and meat and, and a side of chips. That was my lunch. Then I would have more coffee and tea till dinner. Then dinner. Here we go. Fast food. Let's go to the fast food place. Let's wolf down a burger. Let's wolf down a chicken sandwich. Right? Let's, uh... A burger and chicken sandwich sounds pretty good, but you could, but matter of fact, let me let me help you out there, Phil, because there is a way you can make that burger a little healthy. By removing the bun, replace it with some type of um lettuce, whatever. That will save you some calories there and cut back on the sugary stuff. Uh, when it comes to the uh, chicken chicken um sandwich or whatever, you could actually turn get some lettuce, take it out of the bread, and have that more more like a chicken salad. So there's ways you can make it healthy, Phil. Figure that out. Let's go home and let's fry ourselves up some food in a pan full of grease. Right? Or a, a TV dinner. Oh, yeah, that's real healthy for you, right? The worst things. And, you know, and then uh, at night, what do you do? Well, I hate myself because I'm fat and I'm ugly and I'm depressed. So <laughs> Which all three you are anyways. <laughs>
Also, look at that face. Look at that face. Only a mother would love that. <laughs> so time to drink. So now let's pop open that bottle of rum and coke and let's just drip, 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 drip all night. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go back a little bit. What did he just say there? Hold on, let, let, let's just look at this real quick again. Let's fill. Say that one more time. Pop open that bottle of rum and coke and let's just drip, 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 drip all night. Gee. Well, Phil, how would you know that? How would you know that unless you're still doing it? I right, wait. Right, instead of gin, are you drinking coke and coke, coke and rum all day? Very interesting, Phil. Very interesting. I wonder why I'm miserable, depressed, and fat. That was my life. That was my life for many, many years. That was when I. That's your life still now, Phil. That's still even to this day. <laughs> Move on. I was absolutely at my worst. And that was, you know, thank God I'm out of that lifestyle. But how many people in America live that lifestyle? Probably a ton. Why do you think we have an obesity epidemic in the United States? That's exactly why, right? Where's your motivation to do anything better in your life when that's your life, right? And again, too many enablers because... Such as you, Phil. How many people in the same house as you are enabling you to be like that or like that themselves? And so now you're all living that same awful lifestyle, right? Oh, excuse me. You're so fucking disgusting. By the way, it's like I've said, because a lot of people in the last few months have said, gee, Phil, it's weird because last year you were talking a lot about your, your lifestyle and if you were working out or doing power walks or whatever. You haven't even mentioned it at all this year. You're right. Why not? No, you haven't. So what are you doing about that, Phil? Are you actually power walking, jogging, running in the gym? Which is it, Phil? Why? Because shitheads and stalkers out there have tried to turn this into some kind of a negative. All right. <sighs> Phil. Philip. <clears throat> the only people that do that are extremists. Okay, extremists. Okay. Any normal person that sees you is going the other direction. So can you stop with that lie? <sighs> you really make me want to. You make me want to give you a stone cold stunner, Phil. My health, my lifestyle is no one's business but mine and my family's. All right. I thought last year I would share a little bit with you guys about how I was trying to keep healthy. I thought it was a good idea. And of course, they turned it into a negative. So now I just don't talk about it anymore. I told you this months ago. I'm going to keep that stuff private. That way they can't try to be intrusive to my life and try to make fun or be stupid and make up, you know. Phil, we're going to make fun of you regardless, okay? You're a public figure. You want to know how we can, you can stop all that? You want to know how you can stop us from making fun of you? Get off the damn internet. That will help that out a lot. No conspiracy theories about it. So, yeah. Am I still working out every once in a while? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best to keep healthy. I am. But I'm not going to talk about it on my streams because it's no one's business but mine and my family's. Okay? Somehow or another, you let it come out anyways, Phil. So we know that's a big fat lie right there. Okay. Yeah, comment frenzy. It's just it's just sad. Like, you, you would think. Just think about how silly that is. So Phil's just talking about doing some power walking in his neighborhood, some jogging in his neighborhood or whatever, right? That's not a big deal. But then what? If You're right. It's not a big deal, Phil. You live in a gated community. You really do. None of that. Again, this is how I know you're lying because 16 hours a day you're streaming, Phil. So I know you're not doing anything. You're just in your in your office doing absolutely nothing, wasting everybody's time, complaining, bitching and moaning, sucking at video games while begging for your dance so you can pull them Hogan's. So that's exactly what you do, Phil. What is it becoming? Well, how how often do you do it? How much do you do it? How much, you know, how long do you do it for? Or do you measure how fast you go? How many miles do you run? How many calories do you burn? How do you do this? How do you, because that's what it is. Every piece of my life is a weird obsession for certain people. So they literally. Okay, Phil, let's play devil's advocate here. Let's say somebody is asking you all that. They're not doing that so they can pry into your business. They actually ask you to see if they can help you out so you can actually lose some weight. You know, they want to know what time, what are you power walking or you know, that stuff because that helps to burn calories. They want to know how what you're eating because how much you're intaking for that day. Again, you have to figure out what your maintenance caloric take and minus 200 calories to 500 calories, Phil. Somebody asked you that maybe because they generally want them, maybe generally they want to help you, Phil. 
but you would never accept that because you think they're trying to be intrusive, being nosy, whatever the feel, when you yourself are complaining about your weight anyways. I really want to know every aspect of my life up, down, left, and right. Why? Because they want to criticize it. So it doesn't matter what I'm doing. They will then find a way to find a way to say that I'm doing it wrong, right? He's not doing that right. Oh, you see, he's he's embarrassed me because he's only doing this. He's only doing that. He's You know, right now, if I became like a triathlon athlete with ripped abs and a fucking, you know, insane stamina or whatever, they'd say something negative about it. So there's no point in me sharing that stuff with you because honestly, it doesn't affect my streams. It's not really a big deal. And... <laughs> Really, Phil? You know how I feel about your streams, Phil? You really know how, to, you really know how I feel about your streams? Hey, uh, Vigor, tell him how I really feel about your streams. You know what I think about your stream? I don't want idiotic people on the internet obsessing about me and my personal life. That's why I don't talk about it. <clears throat> no, and it's various levels. Robbie says, are they jealous? There's various levels. I'm sure there are some people who are jealous of someone who gets to sit around and play games and do a podcast. <laughs> jealous? Jealous? Are you kidding me? Jealous? <laughs> jealous of who? You? Nobody's jealous of you, fool. Nobody is. We Oh my god, jealous. <laughs> jealous. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, Phil. And talk to an audience and make a living doing it. I'm sure there's some people who just really hate my guts for various reasons too. Keep in mind, there's uh, what was that one person? Um, I'm trying to think of his name. Um, was it uh, Obi Wan Ben Kenobi who said this? You have done that yourself. So many people out there on the internet who've listened to complete misinformation and skewing of any kind of truthful information about me for years and years, and they legit hate me because of nonsense that they believe is true. They're, they're nuts. But that, a lot of people are like that on the internet. They just want to sit there and believe really messed up toxic stuff. So to hear... Phil, you haven't done anything else to disprove that, Phil. You let... You, you continue have found... You have found no way... Not found, excuse me. You have yet to disprove that, Phil. Each time somebody asks you, how is that not true, you come up with a... Poor, piss poor excuse, Phil. That's very poor. Ugh. Hear that? Wait a minute. That guy who we used to make fun of and say that he was fat isn't fat anymore. No, let's 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 discredit that. Let's do this. Let's do that. Despite the fact I'm literally sitting here in a shirt that shows you that I'm not fat. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that. Oh no, that must. Hold on a sec, you said. Been a fan for almost 12 years now. When you think, oh, please, I ain't reading the rest of that garbage. Be one of those slimming shirts that completely squeezes his body. You know, okay, whatever you say. I got the drip gum. I got the drip gum. I got the drip gum. I got the drip <sighs> Ah, such a beautiful outro snort. I love it. Drip gum. I got the 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 drip gum. I can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, so I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids. Ah, snort, snort, snort. I just love the content posts. Phil, you, again, once again, you seem to have. No limits. You'll come up with anything, any excuses that make it seem like you're the victim. And I'm so tired of it. I'm so sick of it. And guess what? Guess what? I'm going to continue to make fun of you. I'm going to continue to point stuff out about you, Bill, because you are nothing more than a fucking locale. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is Vanguard. Uh, I got a couple more videos coming up. Stay tuned. I will start because posting more consistent. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Take it easy.